Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today, this is part five of the T-51B Power Armor Suit. Enjoy. So I have four of these kneeling pads. Uh, you usually use these for gardening or just anything when you're working on your knees. And they're made out of EVA foam, and these are going to be the base of the feet. But in order to glue these together, I have to sand off the texture. After sanding off the texture, I applied the contact cement and waited a few minutes for that to dry before I stuck them together. So now I'm going to find the center of the foam uh, blocks, place the PVC pipe structure close to the center, and then mark that. Now that I have it marked, I'm just going to try to cut out the shape of my foot right here, uh, just to sink it down about like a half an inch. To accomplish this, I've just been holding my knife at an angle and then trying to cut a bunch of like uh, Mariana Trench shaped grooves out in that like it's it, it you're left with all this grooves but that might be comfortable for my foot i haven't tried it yet but that's uh just the way i'm clearing out all these wedges uh, seems like it's working sorry i didn't realize my camera was falling so uh, i just put my foot on this and uh, it, it is lower which is the goal because i want the uh the suit to be taken off my shoulders a little bit and more on the pvc structure uh so it has gone down but um it left a super comfortable texture on the bottom for my foot and i actually really like that so I think I'm going to leave this as it is for now, but we're going to do the same to the other block. So now I'm going to use some of this floor mat foam and just put strips to make a border to hold the structure in place. This is a glue pot I got on Amazon, by the way. Uh, it's just a more convenient method of using contact cement. It holds in all the fumes. Okay, so to speed up the contact uh, cement drying, I just use this heat gun. Um, I just like lightly hover it over the, the glue so it just dries but it doesn't like completely soak in. Um, I actually used the pre-cut puzzle piece ends that came off of the puzzle pieces off the sides to make that border I was talking about. And that's just so the foot has an idea of where it's supposed to land. Now we're gonna add some elastic strap like this right here. All right, so that's working out pretty well. I used contact cement to uh, glue the straps to the side of the foam and then put some black hot glue on the side to seal it And I also use black hot glue to glue the straps to the PVC pipe itself So I added some elastic strap to the foam blocks uh, and then for like a sandal shoe, then a strip uh, across the PVC pipe as a redundancy to make it stronger. And then it will be worn like sandals so I can control the feet a little bit better. So I'm going to raise up the feet a little bit with just a sheet of floor mat foam and I'm going to heat seal it with duct tape on both sides. Okay, so for the shins, we're gonna start off by adding this piece of large cardboard uh, an inch above the foot, but right there. So now we have something covering and a base to build off of. So I'm actually using a roll of duct tape to make the circles for the knees. After cutting out those foam circles, I then used the puzzle piece ends and cut off the puzzle pieces to make a rim around those foam circles. Now I'm rolling these strips onto the side using some more contact cement. Thank you. 
So I raised them up with an extra piece of floor mat foam. And now I'm going to add the piece of the shin that tapers downward. And it's going to have some gapage here for extra depth. Um, as you can tell, I'm using a mix of cardboard and EVA foam, but only EVA foam for like details because it's a very voluminous and dense material. It's also lightweight. That's why I chose to use it on the butt plate there because the back is mechanically lifted up and I wanted to reduce weight. It's a great material, but just to keep this title as cardboard T51, uh, I'm still using cardboard for most of the prominent pieces. So I'm adding this piece of floor mat foam to the uh, front of the shin here. The armor does have that lip around the shin. FYI, I'm using a mix of 10 millimeter floor mat foam from Harbor Freight and 10 millimeter craft foam from Michaels and then two and five millimeter craft foam as well. For the piece that is right underneath the kneecap, I need to find the curvature of the knee itself, piece of paper, and held it up to the shape I need to get a template of, and then tried my best to put the Sharpie right underneath and just trace it back and forth on both sides. So when you flip it over, you get some kind of contour you can copy off of. So these are the pieces on the shins. I just glued it to the top and the bottom right there. It starts here on the side and then it tapers in towards the shin. Some more craft foam to fill up these voids. These are just tapered angles. That is looking very nice. This side too. I added some more foam just to uh, get the right shape I'm looking for around the shin here. And then this piece is the one that goes on the side of the calf. By the way, the uh, shape of this circle is actually just a roll of big duct tape. That's how I got that curve right there. I also had to edit uh, some curvature here by adding an extra piece of foam uh, just to get the right shapes on both shins. Now I got this piece. I just traced the back of the circle right here on the kneecap, and that will be the base for the front of the thigh. I also made sure to glue on some foam just to uh, build up the volume of the PVC pipe so I can actually glue that cardboard on. I heat form this piece of foam that I'm going to put right here, and that is to help hold that uh, in that 90 degree shape because it's going on the inside of the thigh, which doesn't have a piece of PVC pipe to glue it to. All right, so I'm trying to sketch out the shape for the thigh on some 10 millimeter EVA foam, and uh, here's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna have to cut out the circle for the knee, and it, I just cut out two angles measured from the inside of the thigh, whatever that thickness is, and then from this hip joint down to the knee as well and then just drew an angle on some foam with those measurements. I haven't removed any duct tape from this roll so I can still use it as that template. And I added some pieces right in the middle with foam uh, just to keep it sticking up a bit because we are trying to aim for some curvature here. And that's how it's gonna sit right there. And then there's another piece that goes around the hip here so that's why I cut it at that slant. I just carefully glued it onto the cardboard with some contact cement. And that is the front of the thigh so far. So I got a piece of scrap floor mat foam, stuck it behind the upper thigh, and then drew a pattern of the shape I want. I cut the piece here at an angle so it tapers outward a little bit like it does in the images. And then when I cut this piece off, um, which is just a, another angled piece. I cut that at an angle like this there. So when I contact cement it together, it will look like this. You do not need to do two 45s. You only need to do one 45 on that slimmer piece, and then it will give you that angle. And also, whenever it's angled like this down that slope, it will give me that contoured shape, and the hip uh, goes like this on the outside, and that is the shape I'm looking for. I used my heat gun to uh, heat form this piece a little bit. I added a piece of cardboard for this to be attached to because there is a slight gap between the thigh and the hip piece. Alright, 
so this is basically where we're gonna stop for this video. Uh, it is at least something for you guys to watch and to follow if you're building this along with me. Uh, so we got the whole front of the legs almost done. Uh, the back of the legs I'm gonna modify in the next video so it goes in more like an actual calf. I'm gonna cut off some of the back of the foot and then also in that next video, I'm gonna add all the details to the top of the knee. But yeah, here's a close look at everything we've done. Here's the inside. I added some popsicle stick supports to keep the leg closed a little bit more. All right, now let's just do a suit up real quick. Also, I have this voice box I got from Amazon. Uh, it's like one of those things you'd use for a Halloween costume. And it actually sounds like you are talking through a power armor microphone. Sorry, the voice box is making what I'm saying intranscribable. Uh, I'm basically saying it works fine, it feels fine, and uh, walking is not too difficult. Um, everything feels light and comfortable, and everything is going in the right direction. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds, like and subscribe for more videos. And of course, there will be another part following this shortly for the back of the legs and arms.